We begin tonight in King City, where many are coming together to honor the victims of a mass shooting that happened last month. Investigators are still searching for the shooters who left four people dead and seven others wounded. Action News 8 reporter Leslie Duarte is live in King City with more on today's vigil. Leslie? Ari, today we saw the King City community come together and show up for the families that are still grieving their loved ones. We saw compassion, we saw healing, and we saw support. On Sunday, a vigil and fundraiser was held to support the families of the victims killed in the King City mass shooting last month. We want them to know they're not alone, the support here, and we're going to continue. Throughout the day, drivers rolled into the Veterans of Foreign Wars parking lot in King City to buy dinner plates and bake goods. Anything to help the family, I mean, anything, whatever support we can give them, we give them. The event was organized by community members and family friends of the victims, and the food was donated and prepared by locals that heard about the tragedy and wanted to help. We wanted to help because this is just a horrific tragedy and to, for me to see this happen to families is horrible. One supporter says coming together in times of need is what King City is all about. I feel we need to let them know that they are loved and they are supported not only by strangers but by friends and family members and I think that's what makes our South County communities um, come together and we become as one. Event organizers tell us nearly $3,000 have been raised so far. Reporting live in King City, I'm Leslie Duarte, KSBW Action News.